Thank you for taking time to check out ControlX Core, the smartphone of automation. At this point, you either have this box, one of our demonstration kits, or you have purchased or borrowed your own ControlX Core, or you're getting ready to check out the virtual core on your PC. Either way, this video series will take you through the basics of ControlX Core and get some things working right away. Our goal is to give you the taste of all the great things about ControlX Core and to help you see how this relates to this. This video series will take you through the initial setup of the core and quickly connect you to all of our online resources for support, help, and collaboration in our ControlX automation community. Then you will explore specific apps like the Motion app, PLC app, OPC UA, and VPN apps. We will continue to add more videos as more functions are released, so be sure to check back occasionally to see new features. Throughout this series, you will also learn about the most important feature of ControlX Core, the data layer. The data layer is the backbone of the system tying all the data together and giving the system that smartphone look and feel. This feature is key to making the most of the ControlX Core system, so dig into it and make sure you get a good understanding of this unique part of the ControlX Core architecture. Lastly, all of our videos have more information in the descriptions, including links to more in-depth information through our developer series of videos and links to how-to sections in our ControlX automation community. Enjoy the ControlX core experience and please let us know what you think. Okay, let's get started with our ControlX core. So in this side the box you'll find a quick start guide and the core itself. Underneath here you'll find an ethernet cable and a power supply and there should be a country specific adapter in there as well so you can just slide that in there like this and then this connector is going to go right here on the bottom and then we'll plug this into our 110 outlet so if this power supply comes disconnected from the connector uh, you can see the white cable is on top and the black ones on bottom uh, if you need to, get a meter out and check it, but 24 volts on the top and ground on the bottom. Uh, next, what we're going to do is take our Ethernet cable here and connect it to the topmost connector on the ControlX core, which is XF10. And then we're going to connect this to our PC. So next, let's get online with the core and start exploring the software. The easiest way to connect to your core is to use ControlX Works. So if I open that quickly, see right here is the default IP address of the core that I'm connected to. So if I click that, it'll bring up the web page for the ControlX core and I can log in. So the initial password, username and password is Bosch Rexroth, so I can type that in accept the general terms of use. So it's gonna ask you immediately to create a new password. So first you have to type in the old password and then create a new password. Okay, now my password's been changed. So the next thing I might want to do is to create a new user and remove the default. So to do that, I can go to settings and users and permissions. So now I'm going to create a new user. Click on users, click our plus sign, I'm going to add a username, create a password for it, and add user. So now I have a new user. Now I can go to users and permissions and group PLC and I can add myself to that user so that we can edit the PLC later and save that. I can also go to permissions and full access and give myself full access as well, which is different than the PLC access for the PLC app. So now my user should have full access. So we can test this by logging out and logging back in. It's going to ask me to change my password again. So I'll type in 
type in my old password and then a new password. And now I'm logged in. So if I want to, I can go back to users and permissions and users and delete this user. So now I've deleted the default user and I have a secure system. So it's important to remember my username and password now uh, because if I lose it, uh, then you have to send the ControlX core back to us to get reset again. So now I'd like to set the network connection. So if we go to connectivity, I'll see my ethernet addresses here. And if I click show details, see here that my Ethernet 0 port is set for 192.168.1.1, which is the default, and I want to change that. So I go to IPv4, uh, want to turn off DHCP and set the IP address to 5 instead. Just click save there. So now I need to log back in at that IP address 5. and use my user name and password. Go back to my settings and connectivity. And now I can set my settings for ethernet one as well. For ethernet one, for IPv4, I'm gonna leave it as DHCP enabled so that I can connect to the internet later. And the same thing for IPv6. So now I'm gonna set the date and time I can go here and set the date and the time and the time zone. Or I can choose to use time synchronization. So if I turn this on, I can add an NTP server to pull the time from if I'm connected to the internet. So one that I could use is time google.com and that will pull the current time from this web address. So it's giving me an error because I'm not connected to the internet right now. So that's it for our setup right now. In our other videos that are up and coming, you'll see how to install apps and do other interesting things with ControlX Core. So be sure to tune in for those.